Welcome back to the channel, my name is Hafiz In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play your classic PS1 games on your Sony PSP If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel as you will help the channel grow We are reaching our first 600 subscribers and very grateful for all your support Released in late 1994 in Japan and to the world a year later, the Sony PlayStation 1 is the 5th generation video game console that was released by Sony as an attempt to compete against the Nintendo 64 and the Sega Saturn. This was Sony's first attempt at making their own video game home console after a failed venture with Nintendo for the Super Nintendo CD. In 2000, Sony released the PS1 which is a redesigned smaller version of the original PlayStation. The PlayStation sold a total of 102 million units with more than 7,000 game titles released for the system. The best-selling game for the system was Gran Turismo 2 which sold 10.8 million copies. The PlayStation was discontinued in 2006, 16 years after it was first released. This was just a few months before the launch of the PlayStation 3. In 2018, as part of PlayStation 24th anniversary, Sony released the PlayStation Classic. This was set to compete against the Nintendo NES Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic. It has the smallest form factors among the previous model and comes with 20 built-in games. Despite having weak selection of game, it sold 120,000 units on its first week of sale in Japan. In this video, I will show you how you can easily play your classic PlayStation games on your Sony PSP. This method is fast, easy and it will work on all PSP models running on custom firmware. Click the link in the top right to see how you can install custom firmware on your PSP. Alright, the first step is to back up your PS1 game CD. Click the first link in the video description to see how you can back up your PlayStation 1 game using ImageBurn. In that video, it will teach you how to back up your PlayStation 1 games from the original CD to get the bit and queue backup files for your computer. Whether you decide to backup your games from the CD or download it from the internet, your backup files will have two types of files, the bin file and the queue file format. Next, we will need to search for the cover art and the background image for the game. Here, I'm using Google to search for the Gran Turismo 2 cover art. Once you have found something that you like, download the file or simply drag it onto the game backup folder. Right click the image and rename it as cover. Next, we will search for the background image. Once you find something that you like, download it or simply drag it onto the game folder. Remember to rename it as background. Next, we need to download the converter. Download the PSX to PSP from the second link in the description. Here, I have downloaded it onto my desktop. Using WinRAR or 7-zip, we need to unzip the file. Extract the file onto the desktop. Next, we can go ahead and delete the zip file. Double click and open up PSX to PSP.exe. PSX to PSP is a converter file that will merge your cover art, background, bin and queue file into an eboot format which is required for the PSP to read. Here, select the bin file that we will be converting. For the output file, select the same folder. In this section, for the game title, we will click and search for the game title according to the PS1 database. In this case, we will be selecting the Gran Turismo 2. Icon image will be the cover art that we just downloaded. Background image is the background that we just downloaded as well. Next, click on the preview to see how it will look like on the PSP. Once you are happy with it, click convert, let it do its thing. It will take some time depending on the file size. There will be a new folder created. This is the game ID for Gran Turismo 2. Inside the folder, there will be a converted game file, eboot.pbp. Do not rename this file as this will be the file required for the PSP to read the game. Next step, insert your Pro Duo memory stick into the computer. Open up the PSP folder, then open up the game folder. Select the game ID folder making sure that there's an eboot.pbp inside it. Copy and paste this folder into the game folder on your PSP. This will take some time depending on the file size. Next, you can go ahead and rename the folder as the game name. In this case, it will be Gran Turismo 2. Once you are done, simply eject your memory stick from the computer. 
insert your memory stick into your PSP. As always, run pull fast recovery so that you are back on custom firmware. Let it do its thing, it will only take a few seconds. Now that we are on custom firmware, select the game and press circle to run the game. The game boots up just like playing it on the PS1. Video is smooth and music is in sync just like playing it on the original hardware. Pressing the home button will open up the setting menu. In this menu, you can change the display, speed and control settings. Let's go to the display setting. Let's change the screen size to full screen. The image is fully stretched, but I kinda like it playing it this way. There's a few other settings such as the black level adjustment and volume settings. Adjust it accordingly and find what works for you. Change the disk load speed to fast. This will make the loading time faster. Let's play some game. Let's skip to some gameplay. The controls are responsive. For something that is more than 25 years, this game is pretty good. Gran Turismo 2 is also the best selling game on the PlayStation. Here are 4 of my favorite PS1 games for you to check out. First one is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, released in 2000. In this game, you play as a professional skateboarder, skating and doing tricks as you compete the number of missions which result in cash reward. With the money gained, the player can then purchase skill improvement and better skateboard. Next, we have the Crash Bandicoot, which is a platforming game created by Naughty Dog in 1986. This was the same developer that created the Uncharted series many years later on the PS3. There were many fighting games released on the PS1, but my favorite is the Marvel vs Capcom which was released in 1988. This was the third entry to the crossover fighting video game featuring Capcom's best fighter and Marvel's finest heroes. And of course my favorite PS1 game, WWF Smackdown Know Your Role 2. This was probably the main reason why I bought a PlayStation back in the day. Released in 2000, during the rising popularity of back then WWF, you get to play as The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Kurt Angle and many more superstars. The game was easy to pick up and play. It was fun but yet it can be frustrating at times. Definitely a must have if you are into wrestling. Do share with us in the comment what is your favorite PS1 game. And there you go guys, that's how you play your PlayStation 1 game on your Sony PSP. If you have found this video useful, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as you help the channel grow. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.